Hey everyone, do we all know the song that goes, Cast me not away from your presence, O God. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. So this, you know, was a popular song, worship song, and every time it was led, I would cry my eyes out and be like, Lord, please don't take your spirit from me. And in my heart, I was just trying to express to God how much I wanted him to stay and never, never leave me. The thing I didn't realize that time as a much younger Christian was that God was the one that was holding on to me and I wasn't the one that was holding on to him, right? Um, we're going to get into it. So Psalms 51 verse 11, you know, David was saying, cast me not away, cast me not away from your presence, O God, and take not your spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation and uphold me with thy free, uh, free spirit. That's the KJV version, right? And when David was saying this, it's because truly in the Old Testament, the spirit of God will come upon people, but then he would leave, right? Um, the Lord had not sent his spirit to leave in anyone yet, right? Because Jesus had to die and resurrect. And we all know what salvation is, right? For anybody who believes in, the, in, the, in Jesus is death and his resurrection. You have eternal life. And so um, this is an important part of our faith, knowing that the spirit of God that's inside of you and is inside of you because you believe would never leave you. John 14 verse 16, you know, Jesus Christ was speaking to his disciples and said, I am leaving, but I will send you a comforter. And he said that was he would never leave you. So this was Jesus' words to his disciple. This is Jesus who has saved you. Jesus who is God saying that I'm sending my spirit and he's going to be with you always. So this is for every single believer out there that constantly is thinking, oh, I've done this bad thing. I've, you know, committed this thing. And now I don't know if the Holy Spirit is still with me. You know, some people think that magically, you know, the Holy Spirit leaves you when you do something back, bad brother, and comes back when you do something good. That's not how it works. He's the the Bible says he's the seal of our salvation, meaning that he's the down payment. The reason you are going to be rapturable is because that because that spirit of God has been deposited inside of you and he's there to stay, never to leave you. So I know lots of people would have questions around the fact that, oh, does that mean I can continue doing whatever I want? Um, anybody that has the spirit of, of the Lord in them will be convicted when they do things that are wrong. And God will constantly work in you to do. The Bible says that it's him who works in you to will and to do of his good pleasure. So the, and the question, and question I'm answering is, can the Holy Spirit ever leave you? As a believer, no, he will never leave you, he will never forsake you. Please share this to as many people that need to hear it because this is very important. This has changed my relationship with God and I hope it changes yours too. See you. Bye.